Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to sketch the graph of exponential function with transformation. With transformation means that the equation is y equals a b raised to the power x minus h plus k. And this is the first part. Before we jump into this first example right here, there are some steps that we need to follow in order that we can um, graph this one right here. And let's have the first step here. The first step is to determine the locator point and the asymptote and sketch this on the graph. Now, there are some stuff we need to remember here. If we have this kind of general equation for exponential function or equation, we always remember that the asymptote is equal to the value of the k. So whatever the value of k is, so in this problem right here, our k matches up with negative 6. So so that represents our um, asymptote. So we can go ahead and write the asymptote right here, equation of the asymptote. Okay, so I wrote negative 6 right here because that is the value for k. So again, they match up. So that's the k. So I wrote y is equal to k. So then that is y is equal to negative 6. Now, part of this step is to determine the locator point. So I'm just going to write LP for locator point. To determine the locator point, we are going to use the HK. So HK, we have to switch and keep. So in this case right here, I need to switch the sign of this. So again, switch and keep. So that would be on negative 2 and negative 6. So this is our locator point. And then we can go ahead and sketch these two on the um, graph. So first we have y is equal to negative um, 6. So we go ahead and go down to negative 6 here. And then I will draw the asymptote. And the locator point would be on negative 2 and negative 6. So that would be on negative 2 is going to be right here. And then negative 6. So this is the locator point. Now I used pencil for the locator point because locator point is not part of the graph. I use pencil because I'm going to erase it, this after we're done with uh, after we're done sketching the graph of this function right there. So after we're done with this, now we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to determine the equation and complete the table. So I'm just going to label this as S2 right here. So in order that we can determine which equation do we have to use, we have to cover the, just like what we did with the other uh, uh, graphs, we have to cover the H and K. So whatever the left over, that is that working equation that we're going to use for step two. So the equation would come out Y. By the way, just a reminder, this F of X can be represented as Y as well. So this is in function notation and this is the equation form. So we can go ahead and write Y is equal to the left over is only 3 raised to the power X. So then this is the equation that we're going to use in order that we can uh, complete the table. So from the locator point, Okay, so we're ready to fill this in. So we are going to plug this not into the original equation, but to use this equation right here. So I'm going to plug this negative 1 into the x. So then our equation would come out. Um, it's going to be 3 raised to the power negative 1, which is the x. So that's negative 1 right there. So again, this column is for the x. This column is for the y. So then we can go ahead and use this property that we have right here. We remember that if we have a over b fraction with a negative exponent, we can change the exponent into positive by flipping the fraction. So it becomes B over A. So in this case right here, we have an invisible denominator of 1 for this. 
so that we can go ahead and rewrite this as um, that's going to be a flip it. So 1 over 3, and that is raised to the power positive 1 because I already flipped the fraction, so the exponent becomes positive. So then we can go ahead and say that uh, 1 raised to the power 1 is 1 over 3 raised to the power 1 is 3. So then we can go ahead and write this as just 1 third. So then this is, when we divide this and we want the... Um, Decimal form for this, so that would be 0 0.33, so the 3 is going to get repeated. Now let's do the rest of them here. Okay, so we have already completed the table, now we're ready to um, sketch the graph. So in this case right here, we have... Um, we start from the locator point, so that's how I got the locator point right here. So from the locator point, we'll look at here, this is negative 1, so that goes to the left. So I go left one time, since this is positive, we can all label this as up, since they're all positive, so that's up, and this is up as well. So then we can go ahead and say that from the locator point, I go 1 to the left, and then I go up 0 0.33. So I go up 0 0.5 is halfway, so 0 0.33 is between that. So that should be a little uh, like one-fourth of it. So the next one that I do is I'm not moving anywhere from the locator point, but instead I go up one. So I go up one right here. And then from the locator point, I go one to the right. And then I go three up. So that's going to be one, two, three. So it's going to be right here. So then we uh, put the dots and we're ready to connect the dots together. I'm going to draw the graph right here. So it's going to go up this way. And then the other tail is going to approach the uh, asymptote, but it's not going to touch it. So make sure that the asymptote or the graph is not touching the asymptote as it gets closer and closer to it only but it's not going to touch it. So this is the graph of this equation that we have here after it has transformed. So what are we going to do is, again, we remember that this uh, locator point is not part of the graph, so I have to make sure that I uh, erase that because that is not part of the graph. So this is the graph of this equation right here. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. As you can see, both the paper version and the Desmos version are just the same. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. And the first step is to determine the locator point and the asymptote and sketch this on the graph. We always remember that the, the asymptote for this type of equation would be y is equal to k. So whatever the k value is. That would be the asymptote. So I'm just going to label this as step one right here. So I'm just going to write the asymptote. Okay, so I pick y is equal to 1 as the asymptote since our k here is equal to 1. So then we go ahead and write the locator point. The locator point is switch and keep. So that would be on 4 and 1 is our locator point. And then we are now ready to sketch this on the uh, graph that we have here. So first, we are going to uh, draw the asymptote on y is equal to 1. So it's going to be right here. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is to sketch the locator point. I'm going to use pencil for this because, again, locator point is not part of the graph. It's just, um, that is just our starting point. Where do we go? Left, right, up, down from the locator point. So that would be on 4, 4, and positive 1. So the locator point is right here. Again, I'm using pencil because so I'm going to erase this after we're done drawing the graph. So the next step is to determine the equation and complete the table. So the equation that we're going to use is we cover the H and then we cover the K and whatever is the leftover, that's the equation that we're going to use in step two. So in this case right here, I'm just going to go ahead and write step two would be the equation that we're going to use would be Y is equal to, that's two over three raised to the power X. So from the locator point,
Okay, so let's fill the table in. So first, we I've set up the table. So the X would represent left to right. The Y would represent up or down. So we're going to put this negative 1 into the X here. So that would come out. That's going to be um, 2 over 3 raised to the power negative 1. And so we can go ahead and simplify this. We always remember that if we have a fraction with a negative exponent and we want a positive exponent, we flip the fraction. So in this case right here, we can go ahead and rewrite this as 3 over 2 that's already raised to the power 1. Because again, we once we flip the fraction, the exponent will also switch. So then we go ahead and simplify this. So 3 raised to the power 1 is just 3. And then 2 raised to the power 1 is just 2. 3 divided by 2 is just 1.5. And then we move on to the zero. So pretty much the same thing. Okay, so I've completed the table. Our next task is to um, sketch this, uh, is to sketch the graph. So we start with, uh, we always remember that this is from the locator point. So the locator point was right here. Again, I used pencil for it. So from the locator point, I go one left. So I go one step to the left. And since these are all positives, we go ahead and we label this as up and up. And this is also up as well. So from the locator point, I go one left and then 1.5 up. So one, 1 1.5. So this would be the uh, dot. The, that's the first dot. So again, I go one left and 1.5 up. So zero, that means I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to stay on the locator point. So that means from the locator point, I go one up. So it's going to be right here. So it's going to be one up right there. And then um, the next dot would be from the locator point, I go one to the right, and then I go 0 0.67 up. 0 0.67 up would be more than halfway because halfway is 0 0.5, so this is halfway. 0 0.67 could be somewhere around here. So then I put the dots there. So then we, I go ahead and um, sketch the graph. And this is the graph of this equation that we have right here. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. As you can see, both the paper version that we just did and the Desmos version are just the same. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!